understand you by and by. Just move on up toward your destination. What's up? This is Osiris with 15 Minutes, and I am outside. We have some noise outside, but you know we like it live. We are outside near the Lillian Way Theater, We're about to engage in a play called Recorded Live in Hollywood, which is the story of the life of John Dolphin, pre-Motown, pre a lot of the black record labels, and we are here with his grandson, Jamel Dolphin, who's going to tell us all about how he got involved with your grandfather's legacy, how did you get involved? Well, uh, it originally started with, uh, with a book. I published a book called Recorded in Hollywood, uh -huh. the Dolphin Story. That was in 2011. And the inspiration, I guess, behind that book was that growing up, you know, as a kid, I always say my name and everyone would always follow me with, are you related to John Dolphin? Yeah. And that was just something that was just natural growing up as a kid in the 70s and 80s. Don't even date myself, but yeah. And then it kind of stopped, it went away later on in like say the 90s or so. Yeah. It went away. And I kind of I did find it by hearing that and I knew somewhat about his story, but not so much. Right. So then I started digging more into it after I, after college and all. Then I kind of, you know, got interested. And then I found out it's a story that needs to be really heard by everyone and it's something that he made a huge impact in the community in the world in the world of music and just in the world in general now how did you guys find all of the artifacts you have because i know you have like all these really cool photos yeah, of yeah. a lot of the old hollywood i know he worked with sam cook yeah. i know he worked with charlie mingus i know he was very oh, instrumental yeah. with uh i think He's like, was it, was he, he was, now he was murdered yes. by a songwriter yes. who was trying to get something done for the Beach Boys, right? Well, no, it's, So what happened with that? That's what the release said, so what's happened, what happened okay, with that? Okay, well, to, to, to clarify, well, he was murdered by a songwriter that he knew his name was Percy Ivy. He wrote basically some songs and he got recorded. My grandfather brought him in to record his songs at a studio in which they did that. The songs didn't come out well in which Basically, he was kind of like a throwaway. Uh -huh. he, would, he would take in all types of local artists, give them a chance to record, write songs. That was kind of like his thing. He let everyone be heard and let him record. Right. But this guy apparently thought he deserved, he thought he, was getting, he needed some money or whatnot, but the songs never released, so there's no money to be made. And okay. then on the other end, he wanted the, the, the recordings himself. And when my grandfather said, hey, I recorded you on my money, on my dime, they're my recordings. And honestly, I really don't even know where those recordings is anymore. And I mm -hmm. just, he just couldn't get nothing out of my grandfather. And, and so just, he got disgruntled. He, exactly. He became disgruntled, became frustrated, and ended up, you know. Shooting. So how did all of the information and all of the um, his, history get translated? How, who found it? Well, who was responsible for putting all of it together and making sense of it? Well, it was, it was, it was me and basically... You and you were the only person in your family that wanted to do it or there were other people involved? No, it was just me, but I interviewed all of my family that knew him from that time. So I interviewed my aunts, my, uh, my grandmothers, I interviewed my uh, uncles, you know, all people that, are, that knew him from that time. So I interviewed all of them, but then most of all of this stuff is is is, is uh, written. Uh -huh. I mean, if you go and you research, you'll find tons of articles on him. On him. And you know, I've He's seen his face there. before, yeah. but I never knew who it was. Oh yeah, but just yeah, you have to get out there and dig, dig, yeah. because it's just like little stuff here, little stuff there, little mm -hmm. stuff here. But you put it all together, and then you get a few people that know him, good friends of his. I also interviewed his uh, attorney that back in the day, which was Walter Gordon. Wow. He's a very big, promising attorney out of USC for back in the time. But that was his lawyer, and I caught him maybe like a year or so before he died and uh -huh. he gave me a great you know, gave, gave, gave you some good information. Great information. Also, Gerald Wilson, another. I know, yeah, Gerald Wilson. Yeah, Wilson, yeah. Like Gerald Wilson, very he, famous. Yeah, yeah. He passed too. Yeah. He of him. They were. They had. They had a big. Uh, you know, business connection together, mm -hmm. selling his records, promoting his stuff. So it was a lot of things. I, I caught a lot of good people. Although I missed more 
just by them passing. Yeah, but that's okay. Yeah. yeah exactly. You did a lot of work. I saw yeah, the yeah, photos. Yeah. yeah. Now, what, how, what is going on in South Central now? What's going on over on Central Avenue where the record store was? Well, you know what? It's been, the record store has been, been gone since 89. Or it hasn't been. Now, is the record store still open? No. Okay, no, so when did it close? The last, uh -huh. It last closed in 1989, my grandmother. Uh, that, was her, that was the last shop there on Vernon and Central. Right. Yeah, so 89 was when it all ended. And now, I don't, I'm not sure what's there now, but we are looking to get this place landmarked. And so we're going through the landmark, uh, you know, commission to see about getting it landmarked. And so what happened to all of the, the, what happened to all of the albums and all of those things that are in the store? Well, you know, uh, they had like more of a going away sale. They got rid of, they, they sold like a lot of the uh, stuff. That okay, they so they kind of auctioned it off yeah, or they something? Yeah, kind of auctioned it off and got, got, got rid of most of the things they had. But anything that was like, that we still had, that we kept, you know, we all had a, had a good, uh, we had, a, my grandmother kept like a, uh, a big, garage kind of full uh, of things oh. that I kind of went through. So a lot of old albums. You know, a lot of, uh, you see a lot of different record labels and imprints of his. Mm -hmm. You know, just a lot of pictures, you know, a lot of different things. So we got like, but then we also, at one point, we gave a ton of pictures to the USC. Uh, right, right. Uh, Museum. Museum mm -hmm. In which, basically, they got more than half of, uh, probably more than half of the pictures. But actually, at this point, they don't know where they is. They just have boxes everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Find the ones that we lent to them. But, so I do have the ones that I, that we still have. And so you got quite a bit of stuff still. Yeah, yeah, I still got a quite That's a bit great. Of yeah, so do you still live in that area over there? No, no, I'm, I live in the Santa Monica area now. Oh, you do? You yeah. like, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that area has changed quite a bit now. Yeah. I know that um, this play started on April 11th, I think. When did it start? Yeah, the musical. April 11th, April open 11. 11th. Yes. And then it's going till May 17th. Well, actually, now we extended it. We're going <gasps> to May 31st now. Wow, you guys so are well. making some money, yeah. man. You're getting some attention. Yeah, exactly. We've so it's doing so well. One lady said she flew back in from Arizona to come because her niece is in the play. Oh, awesome. So you have people awesome. flying in. Yeah. So now, are you involved in the play at all? Are you in the play or are you just the, what, the person putting on the play, being responsible? Well, no. I, 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 You're I'm the producer? Involved, I'm the producer. I'm involved with the writing. More or less, it was more or less uh, Mike, uh, Matt Donnelly is the writer. Mm -hmm. But we did have a lot of collaborations there in putting this together. Okay. And uh, really, I'm not, in, I'm not an actor or anything that's involved in the musical, but we do, at some point, just to give it away, have someone playing me as a young kid. Ah, uh, okay, well that yeah. should be interesting. Exactly. So what can we expect to hear from you since you're becoming a documentarian? Ah, uh, you know what, well, Look for us to grow this musical. So we're gonna grow this musical. We're now, gonna take it to you're gonna place. take it over. You want to take it like on a tour, kind of sort of. Yeah. I mean, honestly, we want to go to uh, we want to go as far as we can with you, which it could be Broadway. You know, we it could be even place. a film. Yeah, and we also looking at that route as well. So we do have a uh, we have a, a treatment already for him. Okay, good. Yeah, we had that actually before we even started. I'm surprised, yeah, because it seems like something that Steve McQueen or a lot of those kind of directors, even Steven Soderbergh and those guys, would probably want to get involved. I, I, you know, Danny Boyle, yeah. any of those people. Yeah, and we have an incredible treatment in which we just kind of got to the musical before we can do a, a movie. A movie is much more expensive, much Absolutely. more costly. So this is something we can do to kind of bring attention to Well, you could do an HBO, probably an HBO documentary special or something oh, might work, good. you know? Yeah, we so what, a lot of good ideas for this, for this same story. And it sounds like it's fantastic. Yeah. Now, what else can we look for in the play tonight? What can we expect to see? We can expect to see yeah. the beginning of where he started and yeah. where, how far he took the, the recorded sure, uh, yeah, Hollywood you'll studio. You'll see his progress on, 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 you know, from basically when he started in LA okay. to his, to basically to, to, his, to his death. Okay. And on top of that, we have an amazing cast who, Everyone is like outstanding, and you'll just have a great time listening to the music. We heard, we heard a little bit. We were cheating yeah. a little bit, oh, so okay. they told us, "Look, you can't look at it right now." But we were cheating a little bit, so it sounded like it's really going to be hot. Yeah. Now, where can we find you online? What is your social media information? Well, I, everything is under recorded in Hollywood. Everyone is under recorded in Hollywood, in Hollywood. and that's recordedhollywood.com. Yeah, recordedhollywood.com, and then you're on Facebook, Facebook recorded in Hollywood, Hollywood, and you're on Twitter. Uh, Pound recorded in Hollywood or ad recorded in Hollywood. Yes. You're also on Google Plus and all the other stuff, or well, not so much. Uh, not so much. Those are the main okay. ones. Okay, but the main one: Facebook, Twitter, Facebook, and, and the website. And the website. Okay. Yes. And we can expect to see a lot more of you and hear a lot more from the grandson of the famous yes. John Dolphin, Mr. 
Wow, Mr. Jamel Dolphin. Oh, sure. That's nice that we got have a young African American man really trying to do something and carry on a great legacy. Yeah. So we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you okay, so this much. has been 15 minutes. It's Osiris over and out, and that's a wrap. I'm here, lifelong. Hey, sweetie, okay, what's your name? Okay, people, it's 15 minutes to show. We are outside of the Lillian Theater, hanging out with some of the people that are waiting to see the show. Some people have even come back for a second time. So the show is hot and it's been extended. We are in line talking to Nimota. Nimota with the big, beautiful dimples. And she wanted to make sure that everyone knew that she was here supporting this show live, recorded in Hollywood the story of John Dolphin. Okay. She can't wait again. to see it again, again. Yes. So there's the crowd, some of the people <laughs> laughing. They look so beautiful. All right? And you guys enjoy the show. And thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you. Another 15 minutes to wrap. Hush not, child. And don't might understand you by and by Just move on up toward your destination Though you may find from time to time complication Just move on.